Hi guys, Jeremy here. Today, I'm gonna compare AppSmith, BuddyBase, Toolget, and Retool, four of the most popular low-code platforms in 2025. I'm gonna compare their features, pricing, user experience, integrations, and more, so that by the end of this video, you'll have a clear idea of which platform is the right choice for your team. So first off, let me give you a quick overview of these platforms. AppSmith, BuddyBase, Toolget, and Retool are all low-code platforms designed to help developers and teams build internal tools faster. They reduce the need for writing repetitive code and make app development quicker and more visual. No matter if you are working with APIs, databases, or cloud services, these tools aim to speed up the process without sacrificing flexibility. So let's start with AppSmith. AppSmith. AppSmith is an open source, low code framework built mainly for internal dashboards and CRUD apps. It's developer friendly and integrates easily with most REST APIs and databases. What sets it apart is its open source nature and active developer community, which keeps pushing out new features. Next up is BuddyBase. BuddyBase positions itself as a tool for building business apps without needing to write a lot of code. It's also open source and it comes with a built-in database, automation features, and easy to use visual interface. It's especially loved by teams that need to build tools like admin panels or approval systems quickly. Then there's Tool. Now, Toolget is also open source and it aims to help developers build modern internal tools fast. It combines the drag and drop interface that you expect with a solid developer centric tools like JitSync and environment management. It's designed to offer a balance between flexibility and ease of use. And finally, Retool. Retool is one of the most popular platforms in the low code space and is used by big names like Amazon and DoorDash. It's known for being powerful, robust, and enterprise ready. While not open source like the others, it shines in areas like security, scalability, and professional support. Now let's break down the features. AppSmith brings a lot to the table for developers who like to keep things flexible. It offers a robust set of widgets, easy API integrations, a great query editor, and JIT-based version control. In 2025, AppSmith added AI code suggestions, making it easier to automate routine tasks and generate queries faster. BuddyBase, on the other hand, shines with its built-in database and workflow automation tools. It has a visual data modeler that makes it super easy to manage and organize your data. One of BuddyBase's new features this year is its enhanced automation editor, which helps create complex workflows using simple logic. Now this is great for teams handling business approvals, HR systems, or asset tracking. Toolget has continued to improve its UI UX in 2025 and now includes real-time collaboration, more granular permissions, and native support for mobile layouts. Toolget also supports over 40 native integrations and lets you build your own custom integrations easily. Plus, their role-based access control and environment-specific variables make it a strong choice for growing teams. Now, Retool might not be open source, but when it comes to features, it's arguably the most powerful. Retool lets you connect to nearly any data source, write JavaScript almost anywhere, and create complex apps that look polished and feel professional. In 2025, Retool launched its Retool AI, a built-in AI assistant that helps auto-generate queries, UI components, and even app logic. It's geared towards teams that need speed and scale without compromising control. Next up, let's talk about user experience. AppSmith has a simple and easy to use interface. However, if you're completely new to APIs or databases, it might take a little time to get the hang of things. Developers who already know JavaScript are going to feel real comfortable right away. The drag and drop design works smoothly. It's also easy to connect data to widgets using small JS snippets, making the whole process feel natural and straightforward. BuddyBase is arguably the most user-friendly platform available. It's designed for both technical and semi-technical users, so it works well for cross-functional teams. 
teams. The setup process is easy and the interface is simple to use. For teams without much experience in development, BuddyBase is real easy to access. Toolget sits somewhere in between. It's relatively easy to use, but it doesn't hold your hand as much as BuddyBase. If you've used low-code tools before, it's easy to get the hang of Toolget. The interface is smooth and dark mode is a great feature for developers who spend a lot of time building apps. Retool's interface looks clean and professional. It's fast, easy to use, and has a lot of features, but at first, it can feel too much for non-technical users. It expects you to know some coding basics, especially JavaScript. However, once you get the hang of it, you can create really powerful tools in less time than you'd expect. It's worth learning because the results are incredibly useful. So when it comes to integrations, all four platforms do a great job, but with different strengths. So AppSmith supports a wide range of data sources like PostgreSQL, MySQL, MongoDB, REST APIs, GraphQL, and even SaaS platforms like Google Sheets. It's also added support for Firebase and Snowflake in 2025, making it even more versatile. BuddyBase includes a built-in database, but also connects to external data sources like PostgreSQL, MySQL, REST APIs, and Airtable. It's more limited compared to AppSmith or Retool, but it covers the basics really well. If you're not using many third-party services, then BuddyBase might be enough. Toolget offers a rich set of native integrations, including Slack, Stripe, Twilio, Google Sheets, Redis, and more. It also allows you to write custom JavaScript to manipulate data, making it super flexible for complex scenarios. Retool, however, is the king of integrations. It connects to nearly anything, SQL databases, REST, and GraphQL APIs. Firebase, MongoDB, Salesforce, Stripe, and even legacy systems. Their library is massive and they constantly expand it. In 2025, they also added built-in connectors for Snowflake, Databricks, and AWS services. Now let's talk about pricing, which is always a major factor when choosing a platform. AppSmith keeps things simple. They offer a free plan for unlimited users if you self-host and their business plan costs $15 per user per month adding features like audit logs, SSO, and advanced access control. For larger organizations, the enterprise tier is at $2,500 a month and unlocks additional security features, custom hosting options, and priority support. BuddyBase offers a free plan for self-hosters and open source users. The premium plan costs $50 per app creator per month and $5 per app user per month. For larger organizations, the enterprise plan offers full control control with custom pricing. It only charges for creators, not app users. Now, this plan includes advanced features like audit logs, script injection, air-gapped deployments, and enterprise-level SLAs and onboarding. Toolget also follows the freemium model with a free community plan. The pro plan starts at $99 a month for small teams and includes private JIT repositories and unlimited API integrations. The team tier at $249 a month adds features like audit logs and SSO. For large-scale deployments, the enterprise plan offers custom pricing along with premium support, SLAs, and on-premise hosting. Retool offers four different plans. First, the free plan gives you unlimited apps, database management, and up to 500 workflow runs each month. It works for up to five users and is a great option for small teams or individuals looking to get started with Retool. Next, the team plan is $12 per standard user each month and $7 for every end user. It comes with some great features features like staging environments, app versioning, and support for up to 100 users. Then the business plan starts at $65 per standard user each month and $18 per end user. Now this plan includes features like audit logging, embedded apps, custom branding, and stronger permission controls to manage your team more effectively. Finally, the enterprise plan is built for larger organization. It offers custom pricing and includes everything in the business plan plus extra features like SAML, 
well, SSO, source control, white labeling, dedicated support, and multi-instant deployments. This plan is designed to handle enterprise level needs and scale as you grow. So which platform should you go with? If you're a developer or a startup that wants full access and doesn't mind self-hosting, then AppSmith is a fantastic option. It's flexible, developer friendly, and getting better every month. If your team includes both technical and non-technical users and you want an easy to use tool with automation, BuddyBase might be the best choice. It's affordable, simple, and has powerful automation features. Now, if you want something that's in the middle, like a mix of developer power and ease of use, then ToolJet is a solid choice. It has strong integrations, good scalability, and an active roadmap. But if you're running a large organization and you need an enterprise-grade solution with security, scalability, and premium support, then Retool is the way to go. Now that's it for today's comparison. And now if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.